Well, here we are at the European Space Agency. Thought we'd come and have a look at the open day and see what the hell's going on here at Nordvik. So let's find out exactly what this space agency does. Our curiosity and urge to explore have never stopped. Our satellites have extended our vision, and we've invented robotic probes that have ventured to the far reaches of the solar system. Our launcher family gives Europe guaranteed access to space, from weather forecasts, to telephone communications, TV and internet access, and sat-nav systems, we open the doors for the world's most successful space applications. The hypergravity centrifuge danced for us as we explored the labs. For little guy, um, so high, uh, Yoda, maybe Jewish, uh, smells like vegetables. Hold on. What have you done with those plans? We enter the test labs and we can see the Hertz radio frequency test chamber, the large European acoustic facility and the Hydra earthquake strength shaker. Engineers and scientists from all over Europe working together in a diverse and rich multicultural environment. It's a cut off a small affair to the girl with the mousy hair. But her mommy is yelling no And her daddy has told her to go But her friend is no We gained great insights into the additional science surrounding the launch of spacecraft dream To the seat with the clearest view The centerpiece of this exhibition was the high ceiling warehouse where we explored signals from Mars, microgravity, space modules, space stations and all things robotic and space. She could spit in the eyes of fools as they ask her to fall fighting in the dance hall. Oh man, look at those cavemen go. It's a freaking show. Take a look at the Oh, there are loads of sciencey stuff to explore. Hi. But is there really life on Mars? This is ground control to major town. There were loads of other stands and information points spread all over the facility, explaining space missions, space barriers, space batteries, space safety, solar power, and more mad sciencey stuff. This is major time to ground control. I've left forevermore. And I'm floating in a most peculiar way. Then we met a real-life astronaut, Andre Kalpers, who spent just over six months on the International Space Station. No evil, why are you smiling? Seriously, it's space golf. And of course, we've got space toasties. We'll be all looking, I'll show you. They use them on the uh, space station. We've got the space shop sorted. I love the fact that we can just keep putting on space, tag space onto everything. Yeah, space. Well, yeah, space, space trash. Uh, we've got space bikes, uh, space toasties. I'm just waiting for the space cake. Space, 
baseballs. What do you think of it so far, Linda? Oh, it was awesome. I got to meet a real live astronaut. Yeah, we saw astronauts, we saw space stuff, space balls, space everything. It was just space crazy. It was amazing. It was like out of this world. Loved it. Space Agency for Europe.